Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'm here to tell you about the new Jump Bar in Dorico 4. The Jump Bar is my new favourite thing. Barring friends and family, that is. Oh, and all you lovely Dorico users, you're fab. But the Jump Bar is jolly good as well. Put simply, you hit J on your keyboard, and the Jump Bar appears. You then type the thing you want, and the Jump Bar does it, or takes you to it. It's great. The jump bar has two modes, commands and go to. When set to commands, the jump bar will let you execute menu commands, open dialogues, jump directly to specific pages in options dialogues. For instance, I would like to set options for bar lines, but I can't completely remember which options dialogues contain the settings for bar lines. No problem, hit J and type bar lines. Ah, there you go, engraving options and notation options. For instance, I would like to copy just the lower notes in this passage to the staff below. So, with the passage selected, I hit J and search for filter bottom note or single notes. Then again for duplicate to staff below. What's more, when you open the jump bar, it is preloaded with your last command so I can quickly duplicate the notes again to the staff below that. Amazing. Use the up and down arrow keys when the jump bar is open to see your five most frequently used commands. I would never have guessed. The jump bar is context sensitive, so we'll show you only the commands that are able to be run with the active selection. For example, with nothing selected, searching filter returns nothing. Though when there is a selection, all the filters are available. Commands on the jump bar show their key command if they have one as a way to help you remember them should you find that an easier way for you to access certain functions. Switching the toggle to go to mode lets you jump to specific points in your layout. For example, B29 to jump to bar 29 or P8 for page 8. RB will take you to rehearsal mark B. You can jump to a specific flow, or use FN and FP for the next or previous flow. You can also use the key commands to toggle between command mode and go to mode. So on Windows, you can use Alt C and Alt G, and on Mac, use Control 1 and Control 2. As if the jump bar doesn't make executing commands quick enough already, you can also set something called a jump bar alias. On the key commands page of preferences, there's a new section that allows you to record a short alias for any command. I'm going to find the command that opens the library manager and add an alias of lm. Now, when I open the jump bar, I can type lm, press return, and the library manager opens straight away. Similar to key commands, aliases show on the jump bar list items as well. Or well, how about this? I'm going to set an alias for filter upstem voice 1, simply as U, and for filter downstem voice 1, I'm going to set an alias of D. Now see how quick it is to filter by up or downstem voices. Incredible. I don't know how we do it. And if you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up to let me know. And subscribe to the Dorico channel right now to see much more like this. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.